Major League Baseball is officially cracking down on foreign substances. It all started when the league announced they were going to start doing checks, which in turn turned players off from using any sticky substances. Spin rates across the league are down, guys are starting to regress, and offense is beginning to go up again. Some players across the league have been complaining, like Garrett Cole saying it's incredibly hard to grip the ball, and Tyler Glass now blaming his latest injury on MLB going cold turkey on foreign substance use. Overall, it's been a big mess so far, especially since umpires started to TSA check the pitchers after innings. I mean, we've already got guys taking their pants off. With that all being said, with as many players seeing drops in spin rates across the league, there is one pitcher in particular we're going to discuss in this video who is in big trouble. Take a second to like this video, and if you're new to the channel and have been enjoying this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for future baseball content. Garrett Richards started his career off in Anaheim with the Angels in 2011, and he had a pretty bad debut in first year as a whole, and wasn't that great in 2012 either. 2013 was the first solid season for Richards, as he made 17 starts and 47 appearances, throwing 145 innings and pitching his way to a 4.16 ERA. 2014 was then arguably the best year of his career, as Richards made 26 starts through 168 and two-thirds innings and pitched his way to a 2.61 ERA, striking out 164 hitters. He then went on to make 32 starts through over 200 innings and pitched his way to a 3.65 ERA in 2015. 2014 and 2015 was easily the best stretch of Garrett Richards' career. An unfortunate series of injuries kept him from pitching a lot, as the most innings he'd throw from 2016 to 2020 20 would be just over 74. And this is a guy who starts games and is supposed to eat up innings. And then Richard signed a one-year deal with the Red Sox after pitching for the Padres in 2020. And after struggling to start off the 2021 season, he'd go on to have seven straight solid starts for the Red Sox, with five of them being games he gave up two runs at most and at least five innings pitched. Richard's curveball was electric. His fastball was moving, and things were starting to look up for him. That is until Major League Baseball enforced the new rule, that pitchers cannot use any kind of sicky substance anymore. In Garrett Richards' first start after MLB announced they'd start enforcing rules, he went 5 and a third inning, giving up 4 earned runs on 2 walks and 11 hits to the Blue Jays. Okay, well, maybe this was just simply a bump in the road. In his next start against the Atlanta Braves at Truist Park, Richards would go four innings giving up six runs on seven hits, one which was a home run, walked one, and hit two guys at the plate. This wasn't just any normal kind of start for Richards though, as he chose not to throw a curveball a single time. Not once. And Richards' other breaking ball, his slider, was only thrown on rare occurrences that night. He just pretty much stuck with the fastball the whole night. In his post-game press conference, Richards even admitted he's used sticky stuff and that he's going to have to adjust, even saying that he's thankful he's gotten this far into his career before Major League Baseball decided to enforce these rules. Yikes. And in his next start against the Tampa Bay Rays, Richards went one and two thirds innings, giving up four runs on three hits, two of which were home runs, walked four hitters, and did not record a single strikeout. And if you look at his spin rate numbers, they weren't pretty. Eric Richards' spin rates against the Rays compared to his season average was down 534 RPMs on his curveball, down 266 RPMs on his four-seam fastball, and down 216 RPMs on his slider. He once again talked about how he's going to have to adjust because of the new rule in his post-game interview. The curveball has always been an elite pitch for Richards, one that he's relied on heavily throughout the years because of how much spin he gets on it. Now, he virtually can't throw the pitch anymore, and if he does, it has nowhere near the same effect it did when he was able to use a foreign substance. This was an exact quote after his bad start in St. Pete. Quote, going through a little transition period right now changing some grips on some of my pitches, learning new pitches, just trying to figure this whole thing out. Like I said, a little transition period. Still determined to get it figured out. End quote. Well, Richards is going to have to figure it out pretty quickly or else he's off the team and will have a hard time finding another club to play for. The Red Sox are not a team that can afford a guy who's going through a learning period going out there every five days. They are currently right in the thick of things, are going to need every quality start they can get, and Garrett Richards sure isn't giving them that right now, especially now that he can't use sticky stuff anymore. Let me know what you think about this, and thank you for watching.